so far, this house is uh, the winner, and I think we're going to turn in our application and see if we can actually get this one. Of course, I said that one about the last one, too, and then totally changed my mind at the last minute, so I do reserve the right to change my mind. But I think this one's going to work. This is the dining room area with the um, nice windows. There we go. And here, oh, Jamie, stand up because you're bending over and I'm filming. <laughs> well, I was looking in your oven. Well, at least I warned you. I could have just filmed your butt. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. This is the kitchen. Smaller than what we have now, but you know, I cannot cook in a big kitchen or I cannot cook in a small kitchen. There we go. Little pantry. And Jamie's checking out all the cabinets, and there's the, uh, the stove. It's um, way too complicated for me. Yeah, there we have it. And this is the breakfast uh, area where our kitchen table goes. That's where all the all the fun happens. Back door. And it's got a decent patio with a cover and an extension for, you know, your grill or whatever. That's a nice yard. The yard's been very well taken care of. Good grass. And it looks like it's been wired for sound or something. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Um. Hey, why don't you turn your dishwasher on and off? Oh, uh, we've got one at the house. A dishwasher switch. Did you know that? At the house we're in now, we have a dishwasher switch? No. Then you tell me, I'm hungry. Okay. This is the um, family room. See, there's where the TV goes. <laughs> and then these fabulous windows. And those curtains are going to have to find a home in a closet somewhere, I think, because they're not really working for me. And I've got so much backlight, I don't think you can see. There we go. Okay. Family room. And it's all open I've got the, uh, up at the top. The you have to be my boss. And over there, that's the game room up there. Like, I'm filming, you know. So, oh, he doesn't care. All right. This is the master bedroom, which is significantly smaller than what we have, but what we have is really too big. We don't use all the space we have. Master bathroom. That's the tub that we'll never use. And then those glass block things. I like the shower. It's got a decent uh, enclosure. And then over here, it's got the two sinks. And then, and this is the potty closet. Jason just wasn't really thrilled about this. This is kind of a sad little scary um, tomb of a room. And I am not sure how we're going to warm that up because, you know, you may be spending some time in here. <laughs> and it's just kind of kind of sad and scary in there. <laughs> I don't think we can make it work. And this is our closet. Which again, is not as big as the closet we have now, but it'll do. It does have some built-ins, which we don't have now. Plus it has all this, this is wasted space up there, but that's, you know, extra room for more shelves or to stack stuff. And then it's got rods all the way around, and then right there, that's Jason's rod. Yeah, one rod, one shelf, that's all you need. He's a man, what he need with more than that? 
So, here's the master. And we come back out and see we're back here in the family room area. And then this little hallway next to the master hallway takes you to this closet, linen closet, which I think is bigger than the one we have now. There's two controllers, one up and one down, but I think it only has one unit. But it's got two hot water heaters because there's three and a half bathrooms. So here's another little uh, potty closet tomb. This is the downstairs half bath, but it's a little bit bigger. It's not as bad as that other one. So that's not too bad. And then this is the laundry room, which, you know, is sufficient. It's got a shelf. It's got space for your washer and dryer. It'll do. And the garage. Every garage we've seen, Jason complains, is too small. We haven't parked a car in our garage in 10 years, so I don't know what he's complaining about too small. You know, I mean, it's got space, and we have two workbenches that need to go in here, and they'll go right there just fine. Of course, we're bringing two refrigerators with us, and there's already one here. <laughs> so we might have to get rid of one of our fridges, because I don't know how many refrigerators does one family need. I think two is plenty. One is plenty. Okay. Now we go upstairs. There's the front door, the dining room. This is upstairs. I haven't learned all the light switches. They don't go straight. There's a, a little turn right here, which means when we all tumble down the stairs, and we will. We're going to have to uh, hope that we make that turn. Or if we just tumble down this part, maybe we can avoid serious injury. That would be ideal. Okay, upstairs, there's this little walkway thing to the left and to the right. And it looks down on the family room, kitchen. So you can see all that. Game room over there. And then this looks back down into the foyer. All the carpets were just clean, so they have signs to take your shoes off, which I really like because that means that the owners care about the carpet. And the house is full of carpet, which is kind of ink, but it's decent. It's tolerable. So this is the uh, to the right of the stairs. And there's two bedrooms over here. There's this one, which will be the guest room. And that attic access right there, there's good uh, floored area in there. There's a light switch. So that's good storage right there. And much more convenient than having to pull down a ladder to get your stuff out there. So I'm liking that. And then it has, you know, Average size closet. And then it's got this bathroom. This is the upstairs guest bathroom. Just pretty basic. Everything is really clean. I'm really impressed with how clean this house is compared to others that we've seen. Here's another linen closet. So that's good. And this attic pull down thing here is um, to the two hot water heaters and the air conditioning unit are up there. And the attic is like immaculate. Um, I'm really impressed with how this house has been maintained. Uh, this is the art room right here. Pretty basic, and it has a small closet, which, you know, 
was not even going to come close to holding what I have in the closets right now. But um, I have some ideas for revamping the whole art room anyway. So stay tuned for that. So upstairs we have two bedrooms on this end with a full bath in between. And then we cross the, uh, I keep calling this the catwalk. I think we're going to have to call it the catwalk. It's the, the bridgeway. The bridgeway, the breezeway. What, what were they calling it on that other one? The skywalk, the, the bridge. bridge. The bridge. Yeah, that realtor was uh, working it. Okay, and on this end we have the game room. It's not, not enormous, but adequate. And this is probably where I'll put my, I have formal dining room furniture that's not really formal. Um, but I'm going to put it up here and with the TV and because the bed's a sofa bed and uh, so that's a, another potential guest area and then there's another full bath right here that's pretty much like that other one a little bit smaller so there's that one and the second AC controller and then this would be Taylor's room she didn't come with us today so I've got to I've got to um, film her room adequately. Okay, so you walk in. It's just two windows, tall ceilings. No fan in here, but I'm willing to bet we can get that corrected. All the ceiling fans here are really nice. They're not like the Walmart fans we have at our house. Lots of outlets. But, you know, average size room. It's probably the size of the one she has now, maybe even a little bit bigger. And then her closet's smaller than what she has now, but we have freakishly large closets right now. It's not even funny, and we don't need them. But it is, there's plenty of space. And it has a window, and she loves a window in her closet, because all closets should have windows. It just makes the closet happier. So, that's it. We're going to turn in our application tomorrow and keep our fingers crossed that it gets accepted. And uh, if it does, then we're going to have to get busy moving. <laughs> and if it doesn't, we're going to keep looking. So, uh, I'm sorry. You're, you're on the butt cam. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, I feel it is. It is clean.